Hi right, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable, The Lost Chapters. Alright, we're here, so we want to find out what Maze found out about that sword, or whatever it was, right? Wasn't it a weapon? I just have this tear hard to come by, but I won't give up. If I could wield this power in my hands, everything would be different. I would be able to stop him myself, or at least hand it to someone with the courage to face him. Huh. Second entry. Today I found the best description of the Legend of Avalos Tear yet. It was an appendix uh, to a rare edition of a history of the guild and describes how the sword was created. Unfortunately, there was no mention of where it might be hidden. At last, I found the tattered scroll with the location of Avalos Tear. Retrieving it couldn't be simpler. One need only read the inscription on the empty grave in the guild courtyard and think of the weapon to be judged by the old heroes. I can only hope they can see my true intents and find me deserved. It didn't work. I'm forever in his grasp. Interest. Alright, I think that's all we need to do here. So it said to go out here and be judged, right? By the old heroes? Is that what it said? So, let's see. Let's give away hero worthy of joining the legend to lie here. Hmm, interesting. We see that you are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. We judge you worthy, hero. May Arvo's tears burn through the forces of evil in your hands. <laughs> and we got Arvo's tear, which is basically an exact copy of the sword that we threw away. What was it? Sword of Aeons? Something like that? So I'm going to equip that because it's the ultimate weapon in the game. At least I'm pretty sure it is. The Soulless Greatsword might be stronger, but... Um, oh, mine one, the one that I have is stronger. Health, mana augmentation, though. And experience. Yeah, I want that. I'm going to wield this one instead. So it might not be the ultimate ultimate, but it's very, very good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back to Bowerstone South and turn in more books. Yay! More books. We'll see if I can uh, finish this quest up. Because like I said, you get a silver key, so you want to do this. Trust me. I just hope that I found all the books that I need. <laughs> Let's go. Class is in session. I already spent... Uh, uh, enough time fooling around, I probably won't be able to turn in as many books as I did last time. <laughs> but we'll see. Come on. Let's go. Hmm, do you have a yep. Could you spare the no yes. Yes, I can. Why don't you stay and listen? Okay, let's get to this. Do any of you know what lies beyond the nine seas? Yes? The Northern Wastes. Well done, Sue. Legends say that Jack of Blades first appeared there, and that it was the home of a mighty empire. Today, its ancient cities are buried deep beneath the ice. But there are still some who believe the empire will rise again, and that the people of the Northern Wastes will awaken. And Albion is united once more. All right, more books. Out of my way, little children. Any books for? Why, that's the Creatures of Albion, Volume. Natural Science, huh? Why don't you stay in? Today, we'll be studying Volume One of the Creatures of Albion. Now. Who here knows what screamers are? I do. <laughs> I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy, too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, you'll 
soon end up like them. Screaming. Not funny. Yeah, those were the things that we uh, faced and hook coast. My father used to read Scarlet Robes Adventures to me every She was my mother, you know. Ah, it lifts one's spirit. Belverines are the fiercest creatures in Albion. But there was once a brave young girl for whom they held no fear. One day, a beast attacked Not Old Glade, where she lived. The villagers all ran away until she alone stood to face it. The creature was twice her size, and she fought its teeth and claws armed only with a stake. By the time the warriors arrived, the beast lay dead at the girl's feet, and her dress was soaked with its blood. From that day forth, she was known to all as Scarlet Robe. Hmm. As she grew older, she became a great hero, driving the evil Valverines from much of Albion and competing in the Witchwood Arena. Yes, they can. Any books for? I'm sure the tale of Twin Blade is quite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Twin Blade was once a great hero, a giant of a man. His swords were feared throughout Albion. But at the height of his fame, he abandoned the guild, deciding he had no need to earn gold through quests. He could simply take it. So he left for the woods and became a bandit. Over the years, he united the feuding bandit clans until he became their king. He built a vast fortified camp hidden near Oakvale and plundered the passing traders as he desired. He was as renowned and feared as he ever was, and now had no guild constraints to hold him back. Sir, what happened to Twin Blade? He was defeated in a duel by this brave hero who spared his life. But no king can face such a defeat and keep his crown, not even among bandits. What? All right, let's see how many more. Hmm, do you have any that you have ugly there? guide. The ugly guide. Uh. <laughs> Today's lesson is from the Ugly Guide. Though clearly, this hero has never practiced its teachings. Now, what do you think makes a person look ugly? Having stupid hair! That's right. Certain haircuts can make a person less attractive, as can some forms of facial hair, especially on a woman. <laughs> Any other ideas? Eating too much. Very good. That's why everybody in Albion has such a perfect waistline. <laughs> From the greatest hero <laughs> to the lowliest beggar. Except for Jenna from Orchard Farm, of course. She used to be but a slip of a girl, but now... Huh, that woman certainly likes her cider. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, that concludes our lesson for today. I want to get more. Ooh, do you have a di oh, what's this? The sock method? No, nope, let's do it. <laughs> uh, let's turn to the sock method and see how we can make you sexier in ten days. <laughs> This hero seems to have truly mastered the book's teachings. Maybe he could show us what he's learned from it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That's quite enough of that hero. And that brings today's lesson to a close. Definitely. <laughs> Before you go, there's something I'd like to present to you. On one of our excursions, little Billy strayed off the path 
as he always does, and found this. Hey! He tried to hide it under his shirt, if you can imagine. I'm sure you can put it to good use. Oh, what a good... And our library is... Alright, there. I finally did it! Out of my way, children! Finally, after all that time, that was enough books, man. All right, I'm going to actually warp to Orchard, well, close to Orchard Farm as I can get, which is probably the Great Wood Colus Gate. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's where I'm going to try to head. I should probably actually go into the guild. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. That's much closer to Orchard Farm. Oh, I guess there's these stupid, 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 stupid cutscenes. There. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I think there's something out there in Orchard Farm that I wanna grab. We'll find out. I hope it's there. If not, we'll have to continue on with the actual um, plot of the game. <laughs> So yes, let's get out of here. And all these loading screens, I tell ya. Fable 2 doesn't necessarily have that problem. I mean, it has a few loading screens, sure. But not as many, and they don't take as long, I don't believe. We will find out when I play it. I got my haircut today. Oh, it feels so good after you get a haircut, you know? Like, get 50 pounds of <laughs> hair off your shoulders, you know? I <laughs> My hair was pretty long, so... <laughs> I hadn't had a cut in a while. But it feels much better now. Even though winter's coming and I'll probably be, be cold, right? Without all that hair. But... Oh well, it happens. I want to see if there's that, uh... This way. Out of my way. Ow. Go away. I think there is a quest that we can get out here, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out, I hope. Hope I didn't come over here for nothing. We shall see. What? Why is this still blocked off? I hate it. Why did it? I thought that only happened during those traitor escorts. Man, it's turned out to be a bad, bad episode. Well, I guess I got Avos tier and traded in all those books, so I guess it's not total loss, right? Ow. Almost there. Great wood. Blah. Not even gonna mess with you, man. Not even gonna do it. A lot of bandits here, holy smokes. You know what? I'll take that. Orchard farm, here we come. Alright, at least we finally made it. Alright, we'll see if I can find this quest here. If not, we'll have to do it next time. Oh. Ah, we'll see. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty! Well, I'll see if I can figure out what this is all about. Next time. Bye-bye.